girls off. Woke up late this morning. It's okay. Well, I uh, actually went to bed last night thinking I'm going to film um, a day in the life vlog tomorrow. And of course, I'll wake up late. Yes, ma'am. A milkshake. No, ma'am. So, of course, today I'm like, I'm going to film and get up, get myself ready, and all this good stuff. I'll, I wake up almost 30 minutes later than usual. Well, 30 minutes later than I wake the kids up. So we were like in a rush this morning. So I'll get ready sometime a little bit later. I've got a lot of cleaning to do today and just like get my house in order anyways. So I'm at Starbucks. I haven't been to Starbucks in a little, well, I did over the weekend. I don't hardly come here through the week anymore just cause I just always make coffee at home and enjoy it. But it just sounded good this morning. I was in such a rush. I was like, I'm gonna drop the girls off and just run to Starbucks. So I'm gonna grab something here. All right, I've never got this, but I got the brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso with three pumps of brown sugar. It's got a weird taste. I don't know how I feel about it just yet. Okay, update. This was actually really good. So the first like impression, I'm like, I don't know about this, but once I like stirred it up, kind of shook it up, I enjoyed this and I really love the oat milk they use at Starbucks. The last two times I've got something with oat milk there, I love the taste of it, so I need to pick, I think they use the Oatly brand. I need to pick some of that up because it is really good, and I actually really enjoyed that. I got it with three pumps of the syrup, which I think that was, it wasn't overly sweet. It was like perfect, so I definitely get that again. I really enjoyed it. Okay, put on something a little, well, not more comfy, but like, I just got a lot of stuff to get done this morning, and I've decided I, we don't have like anywhere to go today. My hair is oily. But we don't have anywhere to go today. Um, so I'm just gonna dry shampoo my hair, put it up for now, and then I'll fix it a little bit better after I get my shower later. Um, but I've just got some stuff to get done around the house today. So I'm just going to have my shower a little bit later. A lot of times when we don't have anywhere to go during the day, like I'll do, I like I'll shower later if I need to. And that way, like as soon as the kids go down, I will get like a 30 minute bike ride. Um, which I think that's what I'm going to do today. I actually have been pretty consistent with my workouts the past couple weeks. And then um, two days ago, I did a workout and I am so sore from that. So I took a break yesterday, but I at least want to ride my bike today. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to let this dry shampoo kind of start working and just throw my hair up for now. And then uh, shower during nap time after I ride my bike. And then that way this morning... I've got a lot of stuff that I'd like to get done. And so, just be comfy while I get some stuff done around the house. And I think we're gonna run sometime this morning to the car wash. Um, my car is pretty filthy. Go ahead and wash that up. My hair's a mess, but it's okay. We'll do something with it later. Um, but that's my plan today. I also got some stuff this week to make chicken noodle soup. It has not been very cold for that though. Um, so I'm trying to decide do I just want to put it on for tonight. The kids have been wanting that and I can eat soup any time of the year, but Ethan's more like only when it's cold, he prefers soup. Um, but I've got everything to make that. So I kind of want to go ahead and stick that recipe, that crock pot, um, that in the crock pot, that way to be ready for tonight. So I'll probably do that shortly and just go ahead and cook it we got everything for it so we're not tempted to eat out tonight huh you want some chicken noodle soup tonight no no that sounds good to me the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to get in my kids rooms i actually got in their rooms yesterday and straightened them up but i did not get inside their drawers and i kind of want to get in there and kind of do a little straightening up of them i like to do that every so often especially as we put laundry away and the kids pick their clothes and they just get all messed up. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do this morning, get in each of their drawers and just do a little straightening of them. Not perfect, because they just get right back that way, but they're kind of get out of hand after a little while. So we're gonna get in there and straighten those up a bit.
the car wash. It is so nice having a clean car because with kids, the car gets messy very easily. Um, so I like doing that every week or two or so. So we got that clean. I'm making cal. Well, I haven't eaten breakfast yet. It is late. I'm just gonna move y'all morning. But I am making cow. This can be like cow like early lunch. He loves hash browns and eggs with me. Um, so I'm making him his own little plate every day. Hash browns, eggs, cottage cheese bowl. So I'm making that. And then shortly, probably during that time, I'm going to put on the uh, soup that I'm going to make. And we might have grilled cheese with that. Usually when I do soup, I might have Or I also got the stuff just to have an extra meal on hand. Um, grilled cheese and tomato soup, which I love that. So I don't know. I think I'm still gonna do the chicken noodles instead of the crock pot. All right, laundry, got laundry and washer and dryer. I've been working on a video, it is saving. I'm trying to, I got a new external hard drive, I'm trying to figure that out. And then, I do not wanna do this right now. It's honestly like the last thing I wanna do. But I'm gonna push forward and um, we're gonna ride, do a ride today. Just like a 30 minute ride. I have a mixed fitness bike and it's got like beach body workouts on it. And my favorite trainer to ride with is, I was hoping he had a new, a new one, but I've already done his past few. Jared Sklar, I think that's how you say it. He's my favorite to ride with, but I'll probably just pick I don't know, I might go back and do one of his older ones. I just really enjoy riding with him. So maybe we'll do, let's do rock ride. We'll do that and then we get my heart rate monitor. And then I'll get ready for the day. What is up and welcome back to Body. My name is Jared Sklar and this is a 30 minute rock and roll ride. All right, workout complete. Time for a shower. All right, taking a quick break. I just got out of the shower. It is getting kind of late. Usually I don't have lunch this late, but I'm gonna eat a quick bite. I actually meal prep this. Um, it is so good. So I meal prepped this in my last video, and it's just chicken fried rice. The chicken's from Sam's Club. And it is great. Like, I feel like it's even better, like, reheated, honestly, than when I first, like, made it. Um, so, it's such a good recipe. So, I, um, you can watch my last video if you want this recipe. It's six points on WW. So, this is my lunch today. Okay, we're going to get ready for the day. I ate lunch. All that good stuff. I'm going to throw my hair up. I kind of mm, revived my hair. Is that the right word? Just took my blow dryer and kind of used my brush and... Made the roots look a little bit better, not so oily. I feel like that always helps when I do that, and I don't want to wash it. I usually wash my hair every like three days. Um, other than like besides that, I've tried training my hair, all that stuff, and I just can't. I it, I just can't go past that. It just it doesn't feel right to go past like three days for me. Even with like my good dry shampoo, I just prefer to go like maybe three days. Usually the third day I even like put it up, but it actually I could totally style it today. It'll be too bad. All right, so let's get ready. I've already done my skincare. Um, I have been using the Smashbox Studio Skin still. It is great. Um, been using that for a while. So I'm gonna um, work on some links. Uh, I hope by the time this video goes up, I will have a like to know it post which if you don't know what like to know it is, it is like a platform where like you can like link things and it makes it easy to like keep things organized there. And I don't do the best job with like to know it, but I want to get better with it and linking things. So I keep saying over on Instagram that I am gonna work on linking all of my makeup products, like from brushes to foundation to all that. So I'm still gonna work on that. And hopefully by the time this video goes up, I will have that done. And if so, I'll leave that below. Um, but I'll also share like the products that I'm using in this video too. So I'm just, I do a couple pumps. A lot of times I'll go back in with another one. I've got a lot of redness on my face that I like to cover. Here comes Millie. She is up from her nap. She's watching Toy Story while I get ready. Toy Story 
Toy Story 3, yep. We're gonna do a very quick get ready so I can go stick this crock pot recipe on. It's really nice outside today. I don't think it's gonna rain. I hope, it ain't, I hope it's not gonna rain. I guess I need to check that. I'm hoping we can get outside and then that way we can get outside with the kids later and I don't have to worry about coming in and spending an hour cooking dinner. Like, it'll just be ready. So I'm gonna try to finish this up and run put the crock pot. If not, I can always put it on in the on the stove top later, but I'm gonna try to get it and cook it on high for about four hours. It should be good. And then after foundation, I go in with, um, this is the Hourglass Concealer. I've been using this. I'll probably, I use Shape Tape for a long time and I honestly probably, next time I need more, I'll probably repurchase the Shape Tape over this. But this is a good concealer though. Okay, so I'm just gonna blend that out. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. Honestly, for the price, this stuff's like five, five or six dollars, I think. This really is such a good setting powder. I even bought one from, what is the brand? Um, Laura Mercier, a setting powder, and I do not like it compared like, I prefer this over that. And honestly, I think I'm gonna go in with this and just go all over my face. This one already got it out. But I also, lately, I've been using um, Laura Mercier, a translucent setting powder, which is different than what I would just said that I don't love. Um, but I don't think I love this either. I don't know, just trying different things. Anyways, okay, I normally don't put that all over my face, but it's just gonna work for today. All right, so next I'm gonna do, like I said, normally I use this one, but it don't provide the best coverage, but it's like a, um, it's like a blurring setting powder is what this one is. I just got it not too long ago. I'm gonna, I actually got this not too long ago, either the um, Charlotte Tilbury Bronzing Glow. I'm just gonna do a quick bronzer. I'm not gonna worry about like contour or things. I'm just using this just to add a little bit of warmth to my face. So Hi. this is more like a, Millie's with me now. This is more like a very quick get ready with me. Just cause we literally have like no plans this afternoon. So I like this, but I also really, really like, I think I even prefer this more, Millie Jane. The uh, Smashbox Cali Contour. I am gonna use this palette for the blush in here. That's what I use pretty much like every day. A little bit of blush. Then back to this one, highlight. I really like this highlight in here. I like the highlight in the other palette too. So if I were choosing between the two palettes, this one or the Smashbox one, I'd go with this one. All right, next I'm gonna do brows. We're gonna do, this is breaking. I'm gonna have to get a new brow pencil. Um, I've had these for so long. These are Amazon brushes. Okay, I think I might have fixed it. I think it's good now. Um, Anastasia, the Brow Powder Duo in the shade Taupe. I've had this stuff for so long, and I haven't even, like, halfway got into it yet. It's not even, like, halfway gone. So I'm just going to fill in quickly my brows. I need to get another one of these. This is the Anastasia, the Brow Gel. This is uh, getting, starting to get dried up. Just gonna add a little bit of that. Even on my like light makeup days, I still, I, it's pretty much the same light makeup days. Honestly, if I wasn't filming today, I probably wouldn't have put makeup on. Not that I feel the need to have makeup while I'm filming. I just kinda wanted to do a little get ready with me during this video, so that's the only reason I'm actually putting it on because, just cause we don't have any other plans today. I don't really like feel the need to have makeup, but. All right, so. $20 eyeshadow palette, Truth or Bear by Morphe. Such a good one. Um, I am going to add, like this bottom shade right here. I use that all the time. I'm just gonna add a little bit to my lid. I'm just gonna like not, I'm not gonna do much of this today. I'm gonna do that same color with this little brush kind of right here at my la lower lash line. And then, um, Mascara. This is, I really like the Tartlet Tubing Mascara. All right, so I'm gonna first of all curl my lashes. All right, and then I'm gonna go in mascara. Then once my mascara dries, I'm gonna go in and there's, I can never not get mascara on my top lid, so I'll go in with like a Q-tip and get that once it's completely dried. But I'm just gonna throw my hair in a ponytail or a blend, but I like to, Trying to pick it up. 
I like to tease it like a tiny bit before I do that just to add a little bit of volume. All right, nothing fancy, but that works. I'm not gonna worry about adding, okay, when I do add lipstick, I will do it for the sake of this. I need more lipstick because I'm always, I'm always out of this. I'm just like, most of the time when I buy something, like I'll use that up before I buy anything else like it, like concealer. I'm gonna use it up before I buy anything different to try. Unless I just see something, just really wanna try it. So I need a new lip product now because I am just about out of this one, but MAC Honey Love. And I don't love these lipsticks. I feel like they don't last hardly at all. Um, but I've just been using it up. And then this is just the NYX Butter Gloss. Okay, so to get started, I'm gonna chop up some veggies. Honestly, like wishing I got veggies that were already chopped up. I know Walmart has those, but I didn't go to Walmart this week. Okay, so I'm gonna chop up like a couple stalks of celery. And then some carrots. This is like the most time consuming part. So I'm gonna chop these up pretty thinly. All right, I chopped two stalks of celery up. I'm not gonna do a ton of veggies because honestly, my kids are gonna pick around them anyways. I like a lot of veggies. I'm just trying to be in a hurry here. I think these are already washed carrots. All right, I'm gonna chop my carrots up. Probably just like cut them in half and then chop them up smaller. Today is one of those days that I'm like, man, I wish I would've got up earlier. I could've got ready our first thing this morning and that would have been out of the way I would have had so much time to get other stuff done during nap time and I feel like I haven't had time to get everything I need to do today and Ethan and I are going on a little overnight trip tomorrow just trying to get the house in order before we do that the kids are gonna be staying here Grandma and Papa are coming over here with them anyway so it's one of those days that I'm like why didn't I just switch course like I said, didn't wake up to my alarm this morning, so that's one thing. But I would have had so much time. I've also got to get a video. I've got to make a thumbnail real quick. I'm trying to, I need to make that thumbnail so I can get that video up today. All right, then lastly, I'm going to do not a lot of onion, just a little bit of onion, and I'm going to um, chop it up pretty finely. Okay, here we go. All right, let's throw all this in really quickly. We've got some chicken breasts. All this is from, uh, yeah, all this is, pretty much all this from Aldi. These are chicken breasts from Aldi. The, that's what I usually get when I get Aldi meat. Um, I'm gonna put all three of these in here. All right, on top of that, we're gonna add all of our veggies. And then we're also gonna do some better than bouillon. All right, I'm gonna do like a couple of teaspoons of this. Also, we're gonna do two containers of this chicken broth. This has not been recording, just realized that. So what I've done, salt, pepper, garlic, I don't know if it done the garlic part before I realized um, and then I'm doing this, like the recipe that I'm kind of going off of calls for rosemary and thyme, and I don't have either of those, but this has both of those plus a lot more in it. So I'm just doing a bunch of that in there. Yes, baby, I'm almost done, okay. And then I'm gonna give all this a good stir. I'm gonna put the lid on. We are going to cook this on high for four hours. Also, I meant to add, once everything's done, like three or four hours, we'll add egg noodles in after I cook them. We'll just add them. Or honestly, for the probably the last hour, I could probably throw them in there, cook them on high. So I'll either do one of those. I might just go ahead and cook them that way. I know that they're done. Um, and then combine everything together. So once we're ready for that, I will come back out here and show that. But yes, we're gonna do egg noodles. And if you're on WW, cause I know I like to add that cause I know a lot of my followers follow me for that. Um, I haven't added the points up yet, but I will do that and share that later. Cause I have no idea the points on this. This little boy just woke up. I was finishing up my crock pot meal. He's hollering, mama. Is that what you do when you're awake? You holler for me? Did you sleep good? No. What? Not that. Yeah, that's chicken noodle soup. 
Mm. Can you say soup? Mm. Yeah, soup. Would you like a snack? Yeah. Yeah. If y'all saw my last video, these Aldi, the Aldi uh, red velvet things that I shared, they mm -hmm. are so. Are you tickling? Yeah. They are so good. So good. Um, Ethan's loved those. Uh, he, mainly he's been eating them. Cal will share with him some too. But they are great. Like super moist. Um, super, super good though. So if you see them at Aldi, you should give them a try. Alright. What else we gotta get done? We need to go make up my bed. My bedding's done. We need to throw one more load of laundry in. Oh. You're so sweet. Oh my goodness. You're so sweet. Can I have a kiss? Give me a kiss. Can you give mommy a kiss? No. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got my sheets on. As soon as Ethan gets home, I'm gonna let him help with the duvet cover. But I sat down for just a few minutes to quickly make a thumbnail. I'm getting ready to make that live. Um, a lot of times, a lot of times I do editing at night and then um, what I don't get done at night, I will get done usually during nap time. Um, so a lot of nap times, I utilize that to work on a video, work on a thumbnail, get a video up. So it's a little bit later than I normally upload. It's a little after three, but I just hadn't had a chance to do this thumbnail. So I just got that done. So I'm getting ready to make this live. I hear Millie yelling for me. So, making the video live. And the girls and Ethan should be home shortly. All right, we are. What step you on? Um, I think it's step, we're on step, still on step one. We gotta do the screws. The kids got this for Christmas. We haven't put it together yet. We just kind of been saving it till a day. We didn't have anything planned, so it's been sitting in our garage. So we're putting this together. Well, working on putting this together. Do you have the screws? All right, we got it together. You're so cute. The kids are just now starting to play with it. No, you can't get up there, Millie. Millie, watch out. Got the stickers on. They're How putting on like Play-Doh. Yeah. I think they're all gonna have fun with it. All right, chicken noodle soup should, or the chicken should be done. So I'm about to shred that. I'm starting some grilled cheeses to go with it. We're gonna add some egg noodles. I'm gonna do actually like half this bag. All right, so I'm gonna let these cook and then we're gonna shred this chicken and we'll add all this to the crock pot. All right, noodles are done. We're gonna dump all that. All right, so points wise on this, really the only thing that counts is the noodles. And so um, I'm gonna probably not do too many noodles, but one serving, and I did for like eight servings. One serving is three points and then I'll probably add some crackers in here as well. It looks really great. I hope it has a good taste to it. Then a grilled cheese. I'll also be having a grilled cheese, um, six point grilled cheese with it. 